the corner of 16th and Q Street sits the cornerstone of Catholic life for students at the University of Nebraska. St. Thomas Aquinas Church, the Newman Center, serves a population of more than 6,000 Catholic students on campus, providing a spiritual home away from home. It's been a place where I've been able to find who I am and also been able to meet people that are going to be friends for the rest of my life. I think in college it's just really easy to get caught up in classes and like drama and who knows what and coming here you just kind of realize that there's more to life than just college and everyday things. There's like eternal life. The community itself is just an incredible place of love and you can come here and be yourself and get involved in the things you like and find people of like um, interests and values to share that with you. The Newman Center does that the by engaging Catholic students in countless activities. The body of Christ. From celebrating the sacraments, to social events, to studying scripture, to mission trips. There is truly something for everyone. The only thing that each Newman Center kid has in common is a love for Christ. But other than that, they're all different. And they're all different journeys of their faith. And they're all from different places. And they all have different personalities and talents. And that's what's so great about the Newman Center is that there's a place for people like that. And we're different, but we love one another. And we're bound to that love by Christ. That relationship with Christ is being fostered during a critical stage of life. The college years are a time where many young adults tend to fall away from the church. They sense that um, this is a good time, if any, uh, in their life to make that break from what mom and dad taught. So as young people come to a campus, to have this kind of very vibrant and dynamic Catholic faithful experience literally across the street from the campus is of critical importance in the development of the lives of young adult Catholics. It's great, great to see, to see that, to see young people who are there, not because their parents told them to be there, but because they wanted to be there. And I think that that's one of the, the greatest things that Newman does, is it teaches college students to be spiritually independent and to be kind of spiritually responsible. All of these young people are looking for something. And so you want them to have a place that they can go to look for something that's positive. And it gives me a much greater appreciation, not only as a coach, but as a father, uh, to know that these young people have a place like the Newman Center. And the love and the passion that's going on there is incredible. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth. The impact can be felt each time Mass is held at the St. Thomas Aquinas Church. Attendance is overflowing, with the amount of students typically outnumbering available seats. What, trying to do our best to serve 6,000 students with a church that seats 300 is a little challenging. The church isn't the only place feeling the pinch. The Newman Center facilitates more than 85 weekly Bible study groups to hundreds of students, not to mention many other activities. There is little space to accommodate the demand. A lot of our activities that we have have to be held away from here because there's just not room here to have them at the Newman Center. That problem is only going to increase in the future, so it's really important that we try to do something now to provide for that growth. The Newman Center and its leadership team are answering that call. A long-range plan has been developed to overhaul the corner of campus. At the center of the transformation is the expansion of the church. Seating in the chapel will be more than doubled to accommodate 600 students. Meeting space will also be greatly enhanced. If you're not building, then you're dying. And uh, so, and if you don't answer the call for building, then you're, you're, uh, causing yourself harm. I think the Newman Center is doing a great job with the resources that they have, but obviously if they were able to expand, they could reach more kids, they could do more. you got to have a good facility, and uh, I think we can all agree it's time to upgrade the facility here, and that's why I'm sitting here right now, that's why, why I believe in it, and he's got to get a lot of other people behind the idea. In order to fund the project, the Newman Center is conducting a major capital campaign appropriately titled, A Great Problem to Have. I mean, now is the time, and this is an exciting time. There's a, there's a buzz around here, and I think the Newman Center needs to be a part of that buzz. We need space and we need better facilities, and uh, if we're going to do the kind of work that needs to be done and that should be done there, 
And so I think this is, the program is an opportunity to do that. The campaign has the enthusiastic support of the Archbishop of Omaha and the bishops of Lincoln and Grand Island. It may be a project centered on the UNL campus, but its impact will ultimately be felt all across the state. The students leave, they graduate, and hopefully a lot of them, most of them, are going to stay in the state, and they're going to take what they've gained here, hopefully, and uh, back to wherever they go in terms of where they settle. Good morning. And uh, that positive experience will help them be greater participants in the life of the church wherever they're living. For some, that will be a call to the priesthood or religious life. For others, a commitment to marriage and family life. Whatever their ultimate destination is, together these young people represent the future of our Catholic community. And it's not just flash in the pan or for the four or six or whatever years there are at the university, but it's really and truly a lifelong uh, song that's sung in their hearts and that can reverberate uh, through their lives. It really can change the course of their whole life in terms of their practice of their faith, their involvement in the life of the church, and their commitment to that once they leave here and for the rest of their life. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father. In order to preserve that future, we're asking for your help. It will take the spiritual and financial support of the entire community to ensure the Newman Center is able to serve and sustain the university's growing number of Catholic students. It's important to know that the Newman Center um, is where like, the future generations are going to be formed in the faith. We um, have an incredible, incredible opportunity for mentorship and for teaching and for just learning how to, how to love Christ. And it's just not possible without the people who might donate, whether it's their time or their money. It's just nothing would happen without it. So what a great opportunity uh, to expand the Newman Center and to build this spectacular facility that has the ability to inspire and to be the cornerstone on the corner. I think it's very important that this gets done and we just need as many people as possible to get behind the idea and it takes people with some foresight to, to really look into a project like this and, and really get behind it and hopefully we, we get a lot of people on board. This is a great opportunity for uh, everybody to step in and say this is, this is something that's really important and we want to make a statement. The building really sets the tone for what's going to happen there and this is an opportunity to again say there's no place like Nebraska.